Hey everyone, so today I'll be giving you a walkthrough of the Dev UI, focusing on the new features we recently deployed. Um, those are mainly related to financial incentives. So uh, basically I'll be showing you all the ways you can make money on liquidity. Um, now obviously this is just a testing environment, but it's very close to the final version. So understanding how the pieces uh, fit together will ensure that you will be well set up to earn the benefits of being an early adopter once the protocol launches. So um, let's have a look at the agenda. First, I'll give you an uh, overview of the dashboard. So what those uh, cells mean? Obviously, that's just a testing dashboard that we've been using internally. This is not even close to the final uh, UI UX. Just keep that in mind. So we'll uh, do an overview of the dashboard. Then we'll jump into the four ways you can earn on liquidity. And at the end, I'll give you an overview how you can access this environment yourself and uh, play around with it. So let's get going. Um, for the demonstration, I'll be using a new account and an old account, which is already set up to capture revenue. So I will be showing you how the actions of this account will uh, result in gains on this account. Um, there are two main vehicles, so to say, to capture uh, revenue. The first one is the stability pool, where you can capture ETH and liquidity. And the other one is staking. Uh, so with staking, you can capture the fee. And there are two fees in liquidity. The first one is when you open a trove or when you take out more debt. And the second one is for exchanging LUSD back to ETH. So uh, let's get going. So this new user wants to open up a trove. We have a balance up here. He's got some ETH, but no LUSD, no stablecoin, and no uh, LPTY yet. So let's open up um, a new trove. Let's put in half an ETH of collateral and take out 150 LUSD. And you can see that uh, there is a fee. So this is what will be captured by the stakers. So let's execute this. And you will see this number go up. So we have 129 now. And it went up to 256. So this person got his share of the fee. So that's the first way. The second way, also related to staking, is um, our redemptions. So redemptions are just exchanging LUSD back to ETH. So let's say we want to exchange five LUSD. We have a fee again here, and that's how much ETH we will get for those uh, LUSD. So let's do that. And here we are again looking at staking and we will see this number go up. All right, it's not much, but we'll take it. So those were uh, the first two ways, uh, staking. Now we move to the stability deposit. So to make any gains in the stability deposit, you obviously have to be um, invested into it. And this user, <coughs> this user uh, entered uh, 80 uh, LUSD into it. Um, we can go a bit higher maybe. Whoops. Let's go to 95. So this is how you deposit to the stability pool and become eligible for rewards. So there are two types of rewards here. The first one is ETH. 
um, you receive so this now um, uh, disappeared because when you deposit uh, the funds get transferred automatically to your to your wallet so um, there are two ways to um, gain the first one is gaining ETH which is done by liquidating troves so when a trove is liquidated you will get the collateral of that trove or a portion of it and the second way are, um, is to receive LQTY and this, is, um, this happens when a new user joins the pool so every time a new user joins the pool you are already in uh, you will get some uh, liquidity airdropped, so to say, into your account. And this is how the um, community will be rewarded for participating in the system, for securing the system. Um, and the sooner you get in, the higher percentage of uh, LQTY you will get because they will be, um, the rewards will be, will be reduced over time. So let's do that. When someone joins the pool, Let's say we want to put in 50 LUSD. So this person is now joining the pool. And we will see this number go up. Here we go. You can then claim this liquidity, which will go to your wallet and invest it here for staking. So that was uh, the third way to earn. And now the fourth way are liquidations. So at the bottom of the DevUI you will see a list of the riskiest troves. Now uh, this user this user has a collateral ratio of 181. This is still very safe. In liquidity we have the minimum collateral ratio at 110 percent so we are very far away. Now if you want to demonstrate how to liquidate this trove we need to lower this uh, ratio below 110. Um, this is obviously achieved uh, by lowering the price. So if ETH goes down, so if the value of ETH goes down, so does the collateral ratio. And we have a nice tool here in the DevUI where you can manipulate the price of ETH just to simulate different market conditions. And let's do that. Let's go to 3.30 and see if this is enough. So let's have a look here. We are at 181, 108.8. Very nice. So this trove is now eligible for liquidation. What does liquidation mean? It basically means that this trove will be deleted from the system and thereby the health of the system will be improved but uh, we can't just delete troves uh, first of all we need to um, repay its debt and this is where the stability pool depositors come in um, the stability pool the funds in the stability pool the LUSD committed by users will be used to pay off this debt and then the trove can be closed and thereby the overall collateral ratio of the system improved. So uh, when I will liquidate the trove, and let's do that now, you will see two things happen. This number will go down and this one will go up. So LUSD down, ETH will go up. And that's it. You see this user lost quite a good chunk of his LUSD, but he gained even more ETH. Um, the ratio was 108.8%. So this user uh, gained 8.8% more ETH than he lost LUSD. And when the live system will be uh, deployed, this most likely will be, um, liquidations will most likely be done by uh, bots. So the all liquidations should happen very close to 110% so the gains should be around 10% for stability depositors in the live system. So that pretty much concludes the presentation. I invite you to try it uh, yourself and to do that you need to go uh, to this URL 
so devui.liquidity.org. I'm at an internal um, URL, but you use just this. And then please go to the colon test network. We found this works best and we set up a few troughs, so it's a bit more realistic. And if you need an E for testing, you can find it at this, um, at this site. I'll paste this also in the, um, in the descriptions. So, um, and if you have any questions, please join us at our Discord. Thank you guys. See you around.